Hello, I'm challenging myself to a month long spending freeze. A buy nothing month, and I'm hoping I can find some of my needs met on this community. I'll be updating this post and adding things and marking wish fulfilled as the month progresses. I'll also be giving stuff away, but that will be posted separately. Here goes, in need of toothpaste, diapers that will fit a 30 pound child, baby wipes, dishwasher tabs or powder or liquid detergent, food, preferably whole slash non-process, such of any kind produce, rolled oats, raisins, frozen meat, eggs, hummus, etc. But we'll also take kids' favorites like bread, crackers, boxed mac and cheese, etc. Small nails, a table lamp, to be continued. Pick of my little two sweepers remind you to think of me if you're sweeping out any of the cupboards. I'm not going to show the kids for obviously YouTube reasons, but holy shit, how can anyone think they can supply their, their, their whole family for a month? She got kids for Christ's sake and she's not going to spend no money. Those kids aren't going to stand any chance in life. <laughs> Welcome to r slash choosing beggars. As always, support the artists because without them, the channel would have no music and would be stuffed. <laughs> If you're new here, a community-based narration channel. And with that being said, let's get into today's posts. So someone was kind enough to post on a marketplace that they was giving away this bunch of food. They just said they had extra, they was giving it away for free. And some a-hole replies with this. There is no food in that box, only chemically produced toxic garbage, not even safe in the landfill. <laughs> Who does that? I mean... One of the posts, one of the comments below this said that they was down to their like last $15 and they would cry to have that food. They would do anything to get that food. How low do people have to get to, to put, com why would you comment on a post like that? It just blows my mind that some people can be like that. Looking for a quite responsible person or couple to sublet my lovely Felton house in Santa Cruz mountains. 15 minute drive from Santa Cruz for three full weeks from January 19th to February 9th must love cats this charming thousand square foot very spacious one bedroom one bathroom house is located adjacent to four creek state park with easy walk access to trailhead creek blah 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 we'll just skip losses it's just them basically rambling on also has a 75 gallon aquarium that's relaxing to watch and an older super sweet and cuddly cat named mao meow the fish will need to be fed once or twice a day. This cat's pretty low maintenance and will need his water bowl filled up occasionally and his food silo filled about once a week and as much petting as you want to give him. No cigarette smoking in the house or on the property and no large gatherings. Having a friend or two over for dinner is fine. 1750 for the full three weeks with all utilities including central air heating and high speed internet. Negotiable security deposit. Please let me know if you have any questions or know anyone who might be interested. Hold on a second, don't people normally get compensated for pet slash house sitting? I'm confused. So basically someone needs a house sitter, but instead of paying the house sitter, the si <laughs> So basically someone needs a house sitter, but instead of paying the house sitter, the sitter has to pay them? Hmm. House sitter and kitty caregiver and fish feeder. Welcome to the new Bay Area. <laughs> don't make sense. I've toyed with the idea of starting a CrossFit membership at my work. Move logs around and pull cables, push tires, etc. Only $75 a day membership. I think we're onto something here. <laughs> the ride up sounds like a great weekend retreat. Activities such as rent and chores included. Great way to escape your daily troubles and assist with someone else's. Most notably, all on a last minute schedule. <laughs> the owner contemplating the write up. <laughs> Oh God, I love choosing beggars. This was all translated from a different post. Hello, I was embarrassed to talk to you from my main account, but I'd like to know if you could draw me a picture. Uh, sorry for not replying sooner and sorry, but I don't do commissions. You can suggest something for me to draw, but I couldn't tell you when it would be done. Even so, it's possible that I end up doing it if I get some time. I'm going back to school soon. Oh wow, I thought you'd say yes. And here I thought you was a good person. Dang. Eh? I'm telling you I simply can't. Seriously, I have unfinished projects and ones I want to start. I also need to draw stuff to post. I repeat, if I can, maybe I'll do your suggestion. What were you expecting? Money? Uh. Anyway, I will draw your suggestion, but I couldn't tell you when. I wanted my OC. No suggestion stuff. What the shit? I'm really sorry, but I seriously can't. 
I also told you I'm starting school soon, in three days. That fucking sucks. Well don't freak out over it, your art isn't that good. I asked because I thought you were the one of the nicest people in the fandom, but I see you aren't. Well, I know I don't draw much, but I try. You don't need to insult me. I would appreciate if you stopped messaging me. My friend will post this in their blog and no one will want to follow you anymore. And so will I. Please, don't spread lies about what we just talked about. It wasn't much and the insults are already starting. Damn. I don't care. I'll say whatever I want. Are you going to draw me a picture or not? No. Do it, you piece of shit. I'll tell everyone how you treated me. Are you going to do it or not? I won't do shit. Look, no, just no. We started this conversation not many messages ago and you're kind of annoying me. I'm begging you to understand. No, I don't owe you anything, nor do you owe me. Simple as that. I won't draw anything, especially if you keep insulting me. You made me cry. I was just asking for a drawing. You didn't need to talk to me like that, you piece of trash. I wish all your followers saw how you are. Selfish. What the fuck are you trying to? I won't do it. I'm really not in the mood for this stuff. Leave me alone or I'll block you. No, please, I'm sorry. Shit face, idiot. Girl, what is wrong with you? Or oh, dude, I don't know. I'm a woman, you moron. You can't do anything. Let's see you, brat. Shouldn't you stop? I can't take this anymore. Enough of you. <laughs> artists must get choosing beggars the worst. I mean, when because I've been looking for an artist recently to get some some pictures done. I was getting to get some done for the rebranding and stuff. And the first thing that any artist says to you is, says, <laughs> it's going to cost money. <laughs> I'm not doing it for free. I don't want your shitty exposure. <laughs> it's like, chill. I'll pay. I'll pay. And here's a message to a photographer, a professional photographer. I was wondering how much it is to get my pictures done for my birthday with a few friends. Hey, my basic two hour package is $200. Who is this? Don't ever text me again. Okay, but didn't you just ask about the photos for a birthday party? I don't want them no more. You want hella money for some damn pictures. All you do with a camera is go click. <laughs> I work with a photographer. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to say that to him at work. All you do is go click. What are you doing here? I could do that. Seeking talented musicians. Seeking elite professional level musicians. I need top talent that are at least close to match for my writings and musical talents. Genre is a unique mixture of metal, country, 80s rock and acid jazz with psychedelic overtones. I have several surefire hits already written. I just need those who are worthy of the material. Only those that are at a elite level. Touring to start once band is ready. I'm tired of wannabes wasting my time. So if you suck, don't apply. Seeking, drummer, guitars, bass, keyboard, backing singers and several hot strippers. <laughs> oh. So basically he wants a whole band with a bunch of hot strippers. <laughs> try out fee from you. Fucking hell. Try out, try out fee from. <laughs> try out fee from musicians is $50 and non-refundable. You're paying for my time. Strippers try out free. <laughs> Links to music. <laughs> oh God. Links to music only when tryout fee is paid. All prospects must sign non-disclosure form. Money is due prior to tryout. Have McJop issues or family drama? Tough shit, bucko. My band comes first. I will not tolerate some old fossils jerking it to dusty old covers while daydreaming about finger banging grandma. <laughs> No vaping. I will not tolerate someone sucking on a pussy stick. Cash will be split 45% to band leader and 55% split among all other band members. Losers, do not contact me at all. <laughs> this can't be serious. Oh, I like his attitude though. That's a can-do attitude. <laughs> and we have a story from Artify Zero. Pay up $1,500 for misspellings of my name. Just wanted to share my experience at work. This happened a few months ago. I think this is where it suits it. I work for a popular computer company as a technical support supervisor. My work revolves around administrative duties of my team, like coaching and managerial responsibilities. One time, one of my agents, Mike, not his real name, informed me that a customer was requesting for a supervisor, as the customer is irate already during the conversation. I asked Mike what happened with the customer and the reason why she is upset, and he told me that her cursor is not working, even when using both a touchpad and external mouse. The 
The customer requested a supervisor as she did not trust the agent and fix her issue. This is normal for me and I took over the call. I fixed her issue by guiding her to the steps that she needs to do and she confirmed that the issue was resolved. She was thankful in the end and was happy that we fixed her issue with the cursor. It felt like there were no signs she was upset in the first place. After the call, I instructed Mike to send an email to the customer for documentation purposes and then we'll begin closing her ticket. The next day we received a reply from the same customer that we have spelled her name wrong. Mike apologised via email and went ahead to correct the spelling of her name on our database. The customer then replied immediately and requested that we should pay her $1500 for the spelling of her name wrong on the email and another $1000 for the damages done to her computer. I told Mike to ignore her email as we would be escalating the case to a higher department. I have no idea what happened after that but I'm sure that her request was denied as there were no other thing we can do. There may be an error in our part with the misspelling of her name but I'm glad that we don't need to talk with her further. On what planet is that lady from that thinks <laughs> she's going to get any money for <laughs> misspelling of the name? I know there's all, all data protection all that sort of stuff, but that, that's no way even close to what she's, go, what she's going for there. I mean, come on. I'm a military spouse. It should be free next time. Thank a military spouse. <laughs> she actually puts a smiley on the end of it. <laughs> when I become a military spouse, I thought I would get free stuff. What the fuck? Military spouses deserve drink for free, fuck this place, oh my god, fuck this place. We serve our asses off way more than anyone. <laughs> hey, you still got that bike for sale? What's your lowest price? Hey there, yes, the bike is still available, I'm asking for $250, but I'm a little negotiable on the price. How much were you thinking? Well you're in, right? If I get a ride to pick it up, you can do 100 Cause you're like an hour away. No sorry, 100 is way too low. I've had offers for 200 already, so 220 would be the lowest I would accept. Unless you can come get it today, and then I'll let it go for 200. I've got to drive an hour to you man, so 120 is all you're going to get. Or you drop it off to me in like 2 hours, and I'll give you 140, okay? I'm sorry, I already stated in the ad that it was pick up only. I won't deliver it, and as I said, I've already had offers for 200 tomorrow from people locally, so I didn't see any reason for me to accept your offer. But let me know if you can come pick up for 200 at any time today, and it's yours. Dude! Come on, you're being dumb. You're not going to get 200 for it. Just bring it to me and get 120 right now. Yo, I found a ride. I'll be there in like 45 minutes. What's your address? I got 100 cash for you right now. ASAP. Uh, hello dude. Alright man, the offer's going to keep going less if you don't reply man right now. I got 80 for you. Answer. Or when I get there, I'll only pay 60. I'm not giving you my address because I'm not accepting your offer. I've already said multiple times now that I won't take any less than 200 for it. So I don't know where you're driving right now, but you're not buying my bike for 60 or 80 or even 100. I really hope you're not actually driving towards me because if so, you're wasting time and gas. Please don't contact me again unless you're bringing 200 for my bike. Man, fuck you. You're full of shit. We had a fucking deal. And now you're backing out. How about I just take your fucking bike and you don't get shit. See you soon, bitch boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. I'll see you when you get here, bud. Let me know how long it takes you to find my house. If you can find me before the end of the day, you can have the bike for free. <laughs> you think you're funny. Just wait. Tell me where you live if you think you're so tough. Okay. All right. Fine, man. I'll give you 220. Where's your address? Faggot, punk ass, bitch, motherfucker. Motherfucker, answer me. <laughs> Who would give that crazy dude your address? <laughs> But he's a sneaky one, he tried it with a 220, then give you a address, didn't he? <laughs> the sneaky dumb bastard. That's great, thank you for answering so quickly. I saw your post in the group about the printer. Is it still available? Ah, okay, yes it is. I'm sorry, I was wondering why you were writing to me in English. My French is not that good. How much is the printer? Is it working properly? It's free. Don in French means giveaway. You just need to pick it up. You probably have to buy new cartridges though. The ink thing. I haven't used it for more than a year, so the old ones are probably useless now, but you can get them everywhere. I see. Why'd you give it away? Is it broken? I'm trying to do some 2020 cleaning, and as I said, I haven't used it much, so I don't really need it. When can you pick it up? I go back to work on Monday, but I'm free tomorrow. Oh, but the shops are closed tomorrow. Will you be able to buy the ink today? Sorry, what? I don't think you understood me. I won't be buying the ink. I'm giving you the printer for free. Yes, but it's useless without the ink. I don't need it if it's not working. Alright, have a nice day then. I'll give it to someone who does. Wait, 
I'll come today if you come to the store with me to buy the ink. The store closes around 8, so we'll have some time to go. I'm good. Have a great day. <laughs> we can go to the store together to pick up the ink. Yay! <laughs> the hell? What is with these people's mindset? You're getting a free printer and you're complaining about buying ink and you're actually expecting to go meet them and then them take you in the shop and buy the ink for you. What planet do these people live on? So apparently this a-hole stole the phone and then requests the password later through the messenger. If you come back and bring the money, I'll give you the password to make sure everything is good for you. No kidding, that money was for my daughter. Nah, I need the password first. Then I'll drop the money off at a location you can get it. Can't do it, like, because you already showed me that I can't trust you. Well, you're talking about the law you already showed me. I definitely can't trust you. You're going to bring it back or not? If not, I'll just press charges. I don't remember much of your description, but I remember the females to a T. On my son's grave, if you give me that pin or I have your money at a closer location, I don't even know why my brother pulled off, to be honest. Password, and I'll bring the money now on my son's grave. Okay, you got me. What's the password? And I'll drop the money off to a safe location. Oh, what kind of low life does this? I thought iPhones were meant to be like easily trackable as well. Correct me if I'm wrong though. I thought like they have like their own little IDs that Apple can track quite easily, but I'm not sure. So this was posted on a local yard sales site about emergency help and fostering a dog for two weeks while a newly homeless family wanted to move into their new home. And a complete stranger offered to home the dog for free. And this is what happened. Hey, I'm the friend posted about the dog. Hello? Hi, sorry I'm at work, can't be on my phone much, so I guess you never found anyone to take him. If I did, I wouldn't be texting you. Can you take him now? Okay, and no, I'm at work, I don't get done until midnight tonight, but I could take him then, I can go and pick him up when I get off. Ugh, are you fucking serious? Why the fuck would you even message about the dog if you couldn't come get him? I messaged two days ago when I was off work, if you had texted me then I would have been able to take him off you right away. Do you need me to take the dog tonight or not? Wow, can you just get in now? I told you I'm at work. I can't physically leave work until midnight. Fuck you. Okay then, good luck with the dog. How can you be this fucking heartless? Hello? Fuck you, bitch. Guess you just fucking hate dogs. You screw over a mother at Christmas time. Heartless cunt. Ugh. Just think, she's that's a parent of a child. God help that child. What a miserable bastard. I need a ghostwriter slash writer to write 12 to 30 pages erotic slash romance novel. I need someone with a wild imagination and creativity. This would definitely lead to a larger job if done properly. MB, it is a $5 fixed job that will lead to a major job if done well. Thanks. Over 10k words for $5. <laughs> oh, imagine what the larger job is going to be. and that, All that juicy money you might get. You might get $10 for 20k words. Jesus Christ. Hey, I saw your ad on Craigslist for the hockey goal and sticks. You said you wanted $40 for them, right? Hi, oh, yeah, $40, and if you can pick up today, it's all yours. I'm leaving for vacation tomorrow, so today would be perfect. Well, in that case, could you make it $15 since I'm doing you a favor? No, there's someone already else who can get it for $40 when I come back, but I figured you can come first, so I'm giving it to you. Are you serious? I'm taking it off your hands before vacation, which is a favor. If I don't come get it today, it's probably snow and get frozen and gross, then nobody will want it. $15 or I'm not coming. Okay, then don't come, I guess. I can't do $15. My son could probably go pro later in life, but if he can't practice, then he'll end up a dropout loser. Do you want to be responsible for that or do you want to help him? I'm not responsible for him dropping out. Isn't the extra $25 worth securing his future? Good comeback, I like that. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? You actually ruined his life and you're a fucking stingy bastard. You're never gonna sell that piece of junk gold anyways. Good luck. When you come crying to me that you can't sell it, I'll tell you to fuck off. <laughs> I love how it's like the OP's fault for ruining the kid's future, not the other way around for being stingy and not just spending the full amount to buy the goal. <laughs> Hello, is the yellowish cat still available? Yeah, if you're interested, call me. Yes, let's talk about the payment first. Oh, I'm giving her away free to a caring owner, like I said on the ad. I know, but since I'm taking responsibility for the cat, for free, you should at least pay me some money. <laughs> a new way for asking for a free TV. Free disposal, 
no broken screens, no plasma TVs, 2014 or newer only, OLED, QLED, 4K, Android or smart, 100% recycled, free collection. <laughs> Unwanted photographer equipment, $2.00. Looking for a retired pro or active photographer to let go of a complete setup so I can make my way into the industry. Sorry, have no funds to part with. Drop off, please. <laughs> and if there's a couple more sets going around, drop a set around my way as well. I, I'd like to be set up in photography. And that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's post as much as I did. It's been a while since I've done Choosing Beggars and I forget how juicy it is. It's just so good. Facebook is one of my favorite places just to pop on them selling groups and just see people giving away free shit. People going mental for it. You put something free on there. I've been tempted to just do it for laughs. Just put something free on there just to watch people go mental because they love it. Oh dear. Anyway, if you enjoyed these posts, please consider hitting that like, that subscribe button and maybe that notification bell. Thank you for being here. As always, guys, much love. Take care. Goodbye. Take care now.